With utmost humility and devotion, we prostrate the divine lotus feet of our beloved Bhagavan and express our deep sense of gratitude to Him for allowing us to have the first Sri Satya Sai World Youth Conference in His divine presence and for lighting the most auspicious lamp of enlightenment signifying the inauguration of the conference. We want you to progress, we want you to get firm, established, firmly established in the faith and continue to experience the bliss of being in heaven and the bliss of being in constant touch with Bhagavan through the same way. With pranams at the lotus feet of our Lord, Sarayam to all brothers and sisters and delegates. On behalf of all of you, brothers and sisters, present in this August gathering, we offer a million salutations at the lotus feet of our Lord on the occasion of the inauguration of the first World Youth Conference in Satsai Seva Organization. The delegates from the world's centers are indeed blessed and are grateful to Bhagavan for giving us this opportunity to be at his lotus feet. Brother Satnayan, the All India President, has already given us the background of this unique and important conference. And for some of us like me, it gives immense satisfaction to participate in this undrenched first youth conference where more than 12,000 delegates are participating in over 60 countries. Many youth to be individuals with balanced emotions who live in peace with themselves and others. But one reminder that deep inside us is the soul of that internally youthful. This is the best to be achieved to the practice of the divine teaching of all our lives. For one of our days, my life is done. And the content of this society is a living example of you. You began with an education for you. This is a means of sustaining life. The entire phenomenon of our living and living by the religion and learning of in a key for the education policy. And after we set the road to speak, we enter the area of education for life. And here we learn the eternal values which Bhagavan in his infinite love has taught us. Every reason to rejoice in fact that Bhagavan has now blessed the students of the Satya Institute of Higher Learning to take part in the youth conference. This is a very significant step. The students who are assembled here will also be among the third bearers of the Satsai Seva organization hereafter. Dear delegates, by choosing to participate in this youth conference, you have chosen to make a new commitment to understand the real significance of youth and to keep the intellect and the mind youthful. Let us remember that before we venture to step out to reform the world, one has to reform oneself. When we are Lots of effort have gone into this first international youth conference. For this we organized two mini youth conferences, one in Europe and one in Asia, to gain experience for this conference. So participate 100% in all the sessions of the conference. If you have doubts, we will place them before our Lord. We are fortunate and blessed to have His divine purpose every day. To conclude, May I remind you about the divine assurance given by Bhagavan at the time of the fifth world conference in 1990. Bhagavan said, embodiment of the divine Atma. All of you should take a vow to continue developing this service organization. Take all people into the fold. Consider everyone as a child of God. Whomsoever you serve, think that you are serving your own brothers and sisters. Only then will God manifest in you. You will definitely get the vision of the God. There is no doubt that you will experience great things in a short time. People who have gone away from this organization are the unfortunate ones. Do not become an unfortunate one. Come what may, do not give up this service organization. Consider it as your very life's place. And do this with real determination. This is what I desire. 
find out it will always be with you and with it, whatever you may be doing. This is the assurance, divine assurance from our beloved Lord, Sainam. By humble salutations and frustrations, by one Lord Sainam. O Sainam, dear respected elders, sisters, brothers, delegates and non-delegates, on behalf of the organizing committee of this conference, I express our deepest gratitude to Baba for allowing this first world conference to be presided in his physical presence. The organization recognizes the important role that the youth will play in the future as both citizens and leaders. And hence, this is the reason for this conference. We are indeed privileged to be part of Baba's mission. What is Swami's mission? It is but to awaken the inherent divinity in man through the practice of the five human values of Satya, Dharma, Shanti, Prema and Ahimsa. Some 
much for watching. If you lose land property, you can acquire it. Then once the body is gone, you cannot get it back. In this vast universe, the human being is the noblest and exalted one. Man is noble. He is the one of character and ability. If that humanness is gone, you cannot get it again. Young men and women. The prosperity and the progress welfare of the future rests on you. Young men and women, when once you maintain very high code, it takes a nobility, the world also will maintain the standard. Character, the world will maintain. The bygone day will not come back. River Yamuna, when once it merges in the ocean, cannot come back. The fruit that is chewed and eaten and swallowed cannot be brought in its form back. Man is just spending the days, but is not mindful of what is just in store for him in the future. Just as the sun, the grace transforms water into the vapor. <coughs> Likewise, man is not able to realize how his lifespan is diminishing day by day. Life is like a big clock. This big clock has got the pins of the years, months and the days. Very happy that the hands of the clock are moving fast, but you don't know there rings the final bell. We don't know. We are not mindful aware of the hours pass by. The days are the results of the moment of the hands of the minutes. The hands of the months reflect of the hands of the day. Hours constitute an year. We just pass through the days, months and hours, 
but we don't recognize how the lifespan is diminishing. ये कारण हो गरीब पुरुष में कर्तव्यान में गिट्टी ची वर्तिन चार. Before the time passes off, let us conduct ourselves in full realization of the responsibility. मानव ये जगत में उनका अवतरण चलाने के पूरा कारण है. What is the main cause for the birth of mankind? ये मानव ने उपकार कर्तव्य धर्मन देव थे. What are the responsibilities of the human society? ఇలాంటి కర్తవ్యాన్ని మనం గుర్తించి జీవితాన్ని గడపడానికి ప్రయత్నించాలి we have to recognize the truth and responsibilities and spend our life మానవత్వం ఉండినటువంటి దివ్యత్వం పవిత్రాన్ని మనం గుర్తించడానికి ప్రయత్నించడం లేదు we are not recognizing the sanctity and the divinity inherent in our lives జీవితంలో కాలము చాలా ప్రధానమైనటువంటి ప్రమాణమైనటువంటి in this life time is most important and highly valuable kaani ee kaalamu ee naadi yuti yuvulu anithanga yathru raavistunna but this time is best is wasted by men and women more and more ee yathru raavistunna saatham kaavalaniki ee kaalamu sabhi jeevo cheskovali they should not waste time and they should make proper use of the time given kaalamu yathru cheyadam chethane mana jeevitham kunu yathru as you waste your time you will be wasting your life sir kaalamu chakramena maadhyamlo manu praveshpetara therefore we should make proper use of the time manavuni yendu rendu vidhamaina tattvamu vinayamai untundi man has got in him immanent two natures adi titi gati sampatti sattini upachi on the hand we should make use of our mind our position the plight destiny sadhana sampannude we should be one of the character sadgunamuna koshinchukoni we should be one of the virtues dharma madhuna praveshinchi proceed along the righteous path tana jeevithamunu manavatvamuga maarchukovatame kaakunda madhavatvamuga nu maarchukovadaniki avakasam untundi should lead the life of a true human being and should even become divine prapanchamulo undinatundi समस्त पदार्थमुल को लो मानो सर्दी लोग कुछ ऐसे को बोले। Every material in this world should be properly made use of। वो कब कट्टी होगा? Here lies the piece of wood। ये कट्टी तो पूरे का ये धर्म को धर्म को नहीं, तलवाता है ना ये पूरे का वो नहीं को नहीं, मानो सुखंगा भोजन चलो। Here we have the knife, you can cut the vegetables and make use of it। अरे ये कट्टी तो भला मानो धर्म को नहीं, सुखंगा भोजन ची, आनंद आने को � With the same knife, you can cut into the fruit and eat and enjoy the sweetness. Kani, are you happy too? Did you know I am going to be born? Man, what kind of poor boy? Rakshak Kanga Pramod, you know, in church. With the same knife, you can even cut the throat of another man and act like a demon. Do you need to cut the card of Karan? For this, knife is not the cause. Man, what is the matter with you, Gati? It is the human mind that is responsible for this position. Matini bhakti ghati. Matini bhakti sthiti. Based on the mind is the destiny and the position. Is matini bhakti is sampatti. Based on the position, all his possession. Kaamil hi na ki manav sampatti nimitta mein saapu bhakti na. Man today is struggling for possessions, money. Kaamil hi tani sthiti na bhutin scooter le. He is not recognizing his true position. He is sthiti bhutin scooter ki. and that he seriously did that much forward he has to transform his mind in order to reach proper destiny din sariya niti ga march kodaniki mati sariya niti to ketuko in order to change his position he should keep his mind proper divine vedantam yat bhavam tat bhavati vedantic parvans it is stated as is the mind so is the position na bhavam puraskarinchukoni na ek pravartana మన సాంతోస్తున్నారు our behavior depends on our thoughts and feelings ఒక న్యూస్ పేపర్ ఉంటుంది here is a newspaper ఆ న్యూస్ పేపర్ మనం చూచినప్పుడు ఏ విధమైన ఒక దుర్గంధం కాని సుగంధం కాని అందులో మనకు ఊచరించదు as you go to the newspaper you don't feel the smell of good or foul as the case may be కాని ఆ న్యూస్ పేపర్ లోపల జాస్మిన్ కలర్స్ మొత్తం కట్టినప్పుడు మల్లెపువ్వు on the other hand 
in the same newspaper use, is used to make a type of jasmine flower. <coughs> because of the association with the jasmine flowers, the newspaper also smells like that jasmine. The same newspaper is used to pack the pakoda. The newspaper also will smell like that of pakoda. If the same newspaper is used to pack dry fish, it smells like that. Likewise, human heart is sacred without any firmness there. Depending upon the thoughts and emotions that you carry in the heart, your character and behavior depend on. So Vedanta says. So S O W is So S O W. An action rapidly can be. An action rapidly. So an action, a repay. Repay traits or tendencies. Tendencies. Tendency. A tendency repay a habit. So a tendency reap a habit. A habit reap a character. So a habit and reap a character. A character reap a destiny. A reap a character. I saw a character and we were destiny. So, you are a destiny maker, you are the maker of your destiny. Know that you are the maker of your destiny. Or you do, or undo it. You can make or not, you can do or undo it. Kalpane mani vakka, manchi chedda nani kudanu, mani vakka power of pain and other kudanu. Therefore, good and bad depend on our thoughts. They depend on our actions. Therefore, our common behavior should be known. There's divinity in humanity. Good and bad of the world depend upon the kind of behavior of the human society. In our jagat, you know, in the future of the day, Dukkamu, Bayamu, Ashanti, and the human being, you know, and the human being, you know, and the human being. All over the world, you find misery, fear, restlessness. If the Parishtiti, what is the main cause behind it? What is the main cause behind it? What is the main cause behind it? That country with young and young men and women, perfect character, will be noble and great. In our destiny of diversity, he just the crowd has more problem. What are the main cause for the present plight of the country? Among people, there are no good young men and women. It's not the weaponry that protects a country. Not the atom bomb. The country needs men and women of perfect character. The good and bad of this world depend upon the men and women. Therefore, young men and women should have a sacred heart, pure mind, selfless self. They should join in company. Good company you mean association with good people, no. 
Sat means divinity. Adiye Vidhi. That is Vidhi. Adiye Shastra means Vidhi. That is permanent. Dari ko bhi yeh sangha ki abhi kuch ko hai. With the divinity, you can develop your company association. Indu bala, chedu, poutu, poutu ko, tiri abhi kiyaar chhanu, kiyo ko pata hai. This will help us to get rid of all this bitterness and grow in sweetness. Paamlo karu ko. శాతములు తరుకు కూడను ఈ ఒక సత్సంగమే ఆధారము ఇట్ ఇస్ అసోసియేషన్ విత్ ది డివైన్ ద సత్ దట్ విల్ హెల్ప్ యు ఫ్రీ ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ ది సిన్స్ అండ్ ది కర్సెస్ ఇట్ ఇస్ పవిత్రమైన సత్సంగమేనాడు ప్రపంచం కోల్పోయింది ద వరల్డ్ హస్ లాస్ట్ సచ్ సేక్రెడ్ గుడ్ కంపెనీస్ దే మానవత్వం అనేది మంటరంతని ది హ్యూమన్ క్వాలిటీ ఇస్ టోటల్లీ గాన్ బర్న్ టు ఫ్లేమ్ పాప వీతి లేక Because of the ignorance of no fear of sin, Papa Bhi ki leeni, Pamaratu patti, Daiva ki leeni, Jani patti. For the reason that they have no love of God, Manavatra manegi, Manavulam. Among human society, the human values are totally gone. These are the cause for the world revolution today. Here are the problems. Here are the problems that are brewing out and coming. What are the main cause behind this revolution world over? Far away the world is not. There is no fear of sin today. They are not fearful of God. They have no love for God. Here in the world, there is a lot of shame. Here is a lot of problem. Then once these two are gone, how we expect to be peaceful? Can the most of us, Papa, be the day of victory? We will have to give up. Therefore, first of all, we should have these two: fear of sin and love of God. Manamu, Sangamu, and Dukkha. We are born in society. Sangamu, and Dukkha. We grow in society. Sangamu, and Dukkha. We have earned all the reputation, name, and fame in society. We have earned all the reputation, name, and fame in society. Sangamu, and Dukkha. We have earned all the reputation, name, and fame in society. Yes, we are educated in this society. They are in the pension now. A grown intelligence. We have our kids in the pension. We have got the name that we are. Come on, come on, come on. You can't even talk to me. Where from you got all these things? Samaj mein nahi abhi tak talk to me. You got them out of society alone. Come on, individual and group yoga. We are the students. Got them? Got them? Man, this is the most important thing. We have got all these heights out of this society only. ఇన్ని సమ సమాజం నుంచి మనం అందుకున్నటువంటి యువతి యువకులు ఏ ఒక్కరైనప్పుడు ఈ సమాజంలో మనం ఏ విధంగా మనం ఉపయోగించాలి దీని కృతజ్ఞత ఏ విధంగా తీర్చాలి అనేటువంటి విచారం చేస్తున్నారు సమాజంలో మేము ఏ సేవ చేస్తున్నా హావ్ యు బీన్ ది రిసిపియెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద గుడ్ ఆఫ్ ది సొసైటీ హౌ ఆర్ యు సర్ ఏ విధమైన ప్రతిఫలాన్ని మనం సమాజంలో అందిస్తున్నాము హౌ ఆర్ యు ఎక్స్‌ప్రెసింగ్ యువర్ గ్రాటిట్యూడ్ ఈ విధంగా తమకు తాము ప్రశ్న వేసుకుంటే ఏ మాత్రం కూడా జవాబు రావట్లేదు ఇఫ్ యు గుడ్ ఏ క్వశ్చన్ టు యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ యు డోంట్ గెట్ ఎన్ ఆన్సర్ ఇది ఏ పెద్ద దోష ఇస్ ఎ బిగ్ మిస్టేక్ ప్రతి మానవుడు కూడా కృతజ్ఞత అనేటువంటి Every human being must necessarily have this kind of thing. Every human being must necessarily have this kind of thing. Every human being must necessarily have this kind of thing. Every human being must necessarily have this kind of thing. Every human being must necessarily have this kind of thing. Every human being must necessarily have this kind of thing. Every human being must necessarily have this kind of thing. Every human being must necessarily have this kind of thing. Every human being must necessarily have this kind of thing. Every human being must necessarily have this kind of thing. Every human being must necessarily have this kind of thing. Every human being must necessarily have this kind of thing. Every human being must ఒక విధమైన ప్రతి ఒక్క సేవ సెల్ఫ్ సర్వీస్ ఇస్ అవర్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ ఇట్ ఇస్ ద ట్రూ సర్వీస్ ఈ కారణం పురస్కరించుకొని సమాజ సేవ అనేటువంటి ప్రారంభించాం బేసింగ్ ఆన్ దిస్ ద సోషల్ సర్వీస్ సర్వీస్ ఆఫ్ సొసైటీ ఇస్ స్టార్ట్ కాని ఈ సోషల్ సర్వీస్ అనేటువంటి ఈనోడ్ ఎక్కడ మనం కనిపించుకొని దిస్ సోషల్ సర్వీస్ ఇస్ నాట్ సీన్ ఇవి సర్వీస్ ద్వారా ఇది పేరుకిస్తే పొందుతున్నామే కాని తన యొక్క అంతికాని Even this service is rendered for personal gain of name and fame. 
not in the spirit of selflessness. Sirira madhyam, kal dhar masala. Sirira mu samadhi na ku, ankitam gavi chayi na meya tarne. God is gifted to dedicate to the society. Karma, the reason. Iyo kamana vartam, i samadhi na meya koshu bhar kula. The human body is sustained by the society. ఈ పోషణ పడేది దేహం యొక్క సద్గుణం చేత సమాజంకు సరైన సేవ చేయాలి అండ్ సస్టైనింగ్ మెయింటైన్ విత్ ద బాడీ బై సొసైటీ కంచర్ మెయింటైన్ గుర్తించాలి వి హావ్ రెండర్ సర్వీస్ టు ద సొసైటీ అండ్ రికగ్నైజ్ దిస్ బేసిక్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఈ నో నెక్కర్ గుర్తించబడిని పదవి ఎందు కాని అధికారం ఎందు కాని వ్యాపారం ఎందు కాని రాజకీయం ఎందు కాని పాలన ఎందు కాని ఏ మాత్రం పడదు Today, among the people in high positions, authority, business, political, and otherwise, there is no spirit of sacrifice. In, in every heart, you find pollution. The stone heart is so tough and rough. Kalinga, ye ek maayi ne mano mano thurche dal ke ne push kiya. So we have to make a effort. to wipe out this dirt pati adhikari endu kaani pati mata pitru endu kaani pati meda sikhu endu kaani ye vidyavanthu endu kaani adhyapakulu endu kaani ee vidhame ee kaanchinu nindi poyali this kind of pollution is there among people in authority among parents intellectuals educated people and teachers as well గొప్ప గొప్ప మేధావులని గర్విస్తున్నారే కాని ఆ మేధావులు ఉండవలసినటువంటి విని విధేయులు కనిపిస్తుంది they fight themselves because of their intellect but they have no trace of humility గొప్ప విద్యావంతులని గర్విస్తున్నారే కాని ఆ విద్యకు సంబంధించినటువంటి త్యాగంతో ఒక దృష్టిని he prides himself because of very high education he acquired but there is no sacrifice నేను గొప్ప అధికారిని గర్విస్తున్నారే కాని అధికారికి సంబంధించినటువంటి ఆచరణను ఏ మాత్రం కనిపిస్తుంది He is egoistic because of position, but his behavior doesn't reflect what is really going on. Papa, Bhiti, Daiva, Priti, he really put on him. In every aspect, these two are important. We should have fear of sin and love of God. Daiva, we pray to him for the world. We pray to him for the world. And once you love God, you will love the world by and large. Yavar ni man dhani chena padgi, yavar man himsi chena padgi, man wotir chay dhani. Any one who punishes you, harm you, but you should have all the patience and bear it. Udara chetka anam. Udara chetka anam. You should have all that for parents. Patan chaman kapalo kutum banga bari kova. And the whole world should be one family. Patan chaman kapalo kapruhamu. The whole world is one home. Patan manu kapalo andro sogari. Every human being here is a brother to another. Brotherhood of man, fatherhood of God. This is the spirit of brotherhood of man and fatherhood of God. Amta kare ani kuch yeke kwaani na tum bhi chal. We should experience the spirit of oneness. Ki yeke tum ne bhakti chal kuro, kitha tum kono na baadi chal ani kai kuch chal. Then once there is the spirit of unity, no one will ever harm you. Tane mekta ni naal kuro, tane gatti pan kuro chal. The soft tongue is is heard by the sharp teeth. Kani. ఈ పండు నాకు పరిచయం పెట్టాలి నాకు మరి ఏమైనా శిక్షిస్తున్నా ఫర్ ది సింపుల్ రీజన్ దట్ ది టంగ్ ఇస్ హర్డ్ బై ది టీచ్ ఆర్ యు గోయింగ్ టు పనిష్ ఎని హియర్ ఈ మొత్తమే నో వి డోంట్ హావ్ ఎనీ కారణం ఏంటి వై నాకు నాది పండు నాది ది రీజన్ ఇస్ ది టంగ్ అండ్ ది టీచ్ బిలాంగ్ టు మీ అందువల్ల అదే విధంగా ఇతరులు మనం హింసించినప్పటికి దూషించినప్పటికి బాధించినప్పటికి మనం వాళ్ళని చంచడానికి ప్రయత్నించాలి లైక్వైజ్ అదర్స్ మే హామ్ యు అక్యూజ్ యు యట్ యు షుడ్ పార్డన్ దెమ్ ఈ యువకులేం చమనకులను అత్యవసరమే అమంగ్ యంగ్ పీపుల్ దిస్ స్పిరిట్ ఆఫ్ ఫర్గివ్నెస్ ఇస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఈ వయసులో ముడుకు రక్తం ప్రవహిస్తుంటారు అట్ దిస్ ఏజ్ యు హావ్ హాట్ బ్లడ్ ఎవరేమన్నను చాలా క్రోధ పాల కొస్తుంది ఇఫ్ ఎనీ వన్ సేస్ ఎనీథింగ్ యు విల్ బి ఫుల్ ఆఫ్ యు ఇన్ యువర్ హార్ట్ తప్పు is a big mistake manavani unda vasana kutti gunam kaadi is not a human quality shantamuga sahanamuga dari sadhinchalani prayatinchali with all the peace and patience you should develop 
chama shakti mo it is for burning this truth chama dharma mo forgiveness is dharma chama veda mo and patience is there chama ahimsa and for balance in our life chama ahimsa mo and is for balance is sacred chama santosha mo sarva mo it confers happiness in everything chama sarvastha mo sarva loka mo and it is everything all over the world cosmos ee chama mo prati yuvati yugulu kuda mo aapoka మానవత్వం లో ఎంత పవిత్రమైనటువంటి గుణం ఉన్నది అని ఇది మీరు గుర్తించడానికి ప్రయత్నించారు యు షుడ్ మేక్ ఎవరీ ఎఫర్ట్ టు నో ద సేక్రెడ్ క్వాలిటీస్ ఇన్ ఏ హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్ అశబ్దమైనటువంటి కామ క్రోద లోకము మానవచనములు ఇవన్నీ కొను మృగరచనమే కాని పశువచనం కాదు ద యాంగర్ ద స్టెన్ బ్రీడ్ ఆల్ ద వీక్నెసెస్ ఆర్ నాట్ ద హ్యూమన్ క్వాలిటీస్ దే ఆర్ ఎనిమల్ క్వాలిటీస్ ఈ యొక్క మానవత్వం లో ఉన్న వస్తువుల లక్షణం కాదు they are not the qualities to be present in man by by the bhugamu by by the pashu it is only the animal that makes everyone fear stricken and is afraid of in turn new bhugamu ka pashu ka you are not animal you are not a beast new by by the kudu by by the kudu you should never be afraid of anybody you should be fearless ye rendi ni atitane if you transcend these two and conduct yourself in your life you should develop these chief qualities never create fear in others don't be afraid of anybody you should have fear when it's a matter of sin love God There's only one whom you should love God alone none else in our world there is only one who is there we have tanri prema unnadi also far sodana prema unnadi brother mitruna prema unnadi friend bandhuna prema unnadi relation ee prema yindu anto inko prema swartha mane prema unnadi all this forms of love the world is all carries with its selfishness kaani yetti swartha mane nitya prema daiva prema bakkati the selfless love is only the divine love God does not want anything from you. Devu nindi eni aashinchadu. He doesn't expect anything from you. Tanaku kaadu paalavadu kodi tanavarkunu nisvaarthame nisvaarthame. God from top to toe is selfless. Poornamayanti premane. He is a total love. Atti premasvarupane bhagavathinu maatrame premisthunnava. God is love and you should love him. Adi paapa bheeti peyaku దైవ ప్రీతిలో ప్రారంభమవుతుంది then once you have got this fear of sin you will certainly love god ఆటి ప్రీతిగల మానవుని సమాజము గౌరవిస్తుంది such a man will be respected by the society తోడు ఈ నా సమాజంలో గౌరవాన్ని పొందవలంటే in order to earn this team in society దైవ ప్రేమని మనం సాధించాలి it is it the love for god that is దైవ ప్రేమని సాధించాలంటే పాప ప్రీతిని మనం పెంచుకోవాలి to cultivate love for god you should have this fear of sin ఎట్టి పాపమున కూడా మనం ఏ మాత్రం ప్రవేశించకూడదు we should never give any scope for sin పాపమంటే ఏంటి what is sin మన యొక్క భారతీయ సంస్కృతి అందు after the culture of bhav పరోపకార పుణ్యాయ పాపాయ అలకేదన ఉన్నారు service to others is the best harming others is never hurt never help ever hurt never aithe yen paap then what is sin ye humane tanaga bhavinchi identify one soul self with the body dehme yoke sadupaya nimittamai for the comforts of the body dehme yoke anukula nimittamai for the conveniences of the body aa dehme yoke yoke swartham cheta manam konni maatrame praveshistunnam out of utter selfishness we resort to certain practices para upa kara ani moodu padam here there three words para upa kara para anaga aatma para means aatma upa means samipam upa means proximity karana cheta karana is doing aatma ko samipamga poyeyatundi ye punyam unna 
it is the virtue the true merit going near close to ahala daivatvari samipanna pote me punyam vanna merit means proximity to the divinity para peedanam vanna then para peedanam para anaga paramatmane para means god peedanam peedanam anaga paramatma tattvanni vismarinchatame paapam vanna forgetting the nature of divinity is the worst of the sins kanni divyatvari matti potame paapam ani దివ్యత్వాన్ని స్మరించడమే విశ్వసించడమే పుణ్యమని ఈ యొక్క అంతర్థం ది ఇన్ ఆర్ సిగ్నిఫికెన్సీస్ టు బి అవేర్ ఆఫ్ ది డివినిటీ ఇస్ ద మెరిట్ టు ఫర్గెట్ ఇట్ కానీ ప్రతి మార్గం ఏంటో దైవత్వాన్ని మనం విశ్వసిస్తూ రావాలి వి షుడ్ హావ్ ఫెయిల్ ఫుల్ ఫెయిత్ ఇన్ ది డివినిటీ ఆఫ్ ఎవరీవన్
Bhagwan's divine message. We have a speaker from the Sri Satisai Institute of Higher Learning. He is Dr. M. Saina. I offer my most prayerful pronouns at your local speak, beloved Bhagwan. Respected elders, sisters and brothers. There is an anecdote in which a student goes up to his master and asks, Master, what is the greatest lesson that you have learned in life? And the master says, When I was a young man, full of zest for life, I used to pray to God, Lord, give me your grace that I may change this entire world. When I approached the Middle Ages, I found out that I had bargained for more than what I could take. And so, I now say, Master, give me your grace that I may change whomever I come into contact with. Now I'm an old man. But the experience of life has given me the wisdom. And now I pray, Lord, give me your grace that I may change myself. And Lord, had I been prayed to you with this realization long back, I would not have wasted an entire lifetime. If we take a look at the chaos that's raining all around us, it doesn't take much of an imagination to know what is the cause for this. Lost opportunities, misguided vision, and a misplaced sense of priorities. To face life, one requires to be trained to face it. And as Bhagavan says it, this training must commence at a moment when the mind is still impressionable. Start early, drive slowly, and reach safely. Start early. This epitomizes the sense that Bhagavan emphasizes the spiritual training should be given when the age is still not advanced. He has said, the age group of 16 to 30 is a highly impressionable one because it is at this time that attitudes are formed and the behavior pattern is concretizing. It is therefore essential that the training to life is to begin at a very young stage. I am reminded of a rather humorous anecdote which Bhagwan frequently narrates to illustrate this point. There was one merchant who has only one goal in life, make money, more money, and get more money. A sage, out of his goodwill for him, advised him that if he did manage to chant the name of the Lord at the time of his death, even once, he was assured of salvation. So this fast track merchant saw this to be a very good opportunity, and he named each one of his four sons as Rama, Krishna, Govinda, and Mahatma. So he was making sure that whenever he chanted, there was only one name and that was the name of the Lord. And this assured for him heaven, according to him. So when the death approached, he asked, O oh, Rama and Krishna, where are you? And the first two sons said, Father, both of us are here by your bedside. A twinge of anguish crept into his face. And he looked around and he said, oh, Krishna, where are you? Father, I am here too, by your bedside. By this time he was highly agitated. He looked around and said, Oh, Madhava, what about you? He said, Father, even I am here by your bedside. And then, with the last breath, he summoned his last ounce of energy and said, If all of you are sitting here, who is looking after the shop? And he died. 
So this tells us that we will not be ready to face life unless we are trained to do so. And this training begins at a very early age. Drive slowly is the second aspect. This is a modern age where each one of us want things to happen in a jiffy, in a price. Everything instant, including liberation, instant liberation. And Bhagwan, what Bhagwan says, it so happens that liberation is something which cannot be given instantaneously. It is something that has to be acquired. I recollect once Bhagwan was speaking to an elderly devotee. He was explaining to him this very point. He said, "You can plant a shrub." or you can plant a fruit bearing tree. The shrub will grow immediately, but of what use is it going to be to you? The fruit bearing tree on the other hand will take time to grow, maybe even years. But when it does grow, it will give you fruits and it will give you its cool shape. Which one would you prefer? It is very obvious that if we indeed need a result that is going to have a long term bearing on our life, it is going to require some effort. And that is where Bhagwan says, drive slowly. That of reaching the goal safely. Many of us present here will definitely interpret it as saying, the achieving of salvation or liberation. But in this context, I wish to add that before liberation comes a very crucial ingredient, that of being an ideal human being. When we say an ideal human being, it is nothing but in what Bhagwan says, learning to live like a human being act like a human being and move about like a human being, not in the form but in actions and thoughts as well. Uh, there are many ways which Bhagwan prescribes for this, but two of them I would like to stress here is especially applicable to this age where we are living in, and that happens to be Namaskaran with Seva. Bhagwan says, talk less, work more. Talking destroys your energy, talking ruins your memory power. Put that energy to work, and chant the name of the Lord instead, you will have a much better effect. The one next to us, when He is there to guide us, all we require is a sincerity of purpose and a dedication to the cause. He will see to it that nothing goes wrong in the process. Bhagwan, it is very difficult at this stage to do many of the things that you say, starting with talking too much. Many of us try, many of us pay, but Bhagwan, one thing we know. When your love is there with us, when your hand is there to guide us, we know we can work wonders. It is not a question of try, try and try until you succeed. It is do, do and do until you will succeed. And Bhagwan, this is the power of your love. We do not have the vocabulary, we do not have the pens or the books to describe it. But Bhagwan, we know your love works wonders. On this August day, I would like to tell that if there is any power in this world that motivates each one of us to come here and work wonders, cross our own limits and surprise maybe even ourselves, it is that motivation of this love, love and nothing more. Good morning, Mr. Pankaj. 
Yang menurutnya dia ini So long, man has tried it again No one has ever done it Kadang, banyak pun dia pun dia His wife and children will never love him Tapi, dia pun dia tak ada yang pun dia tak ada It is ego that the main cause that this man has to fall from God Kaduka, tapi mana yang perlu? Tanpa itu di perincian yang asyik mereka itu baru. Mula itu, ada apa yang perlu dia? Every person who wants to be loved must share this ego. Krodo mitra nasuchen. Krodo mungkin tidak perlu. Apa yang perlu kamu buat? So long the anger lasts, it's bound to suffer from misery. Ye na man, that man who is full of love, so man will be happy. That day when anger is totally killed, then he will be happy. Come, hit my heart, Babaji. After you hit the target. So long as the desire for the right, he continues to be a beggar. After he has done that, he will have to pay a penalty. So long as he has done that, the moment he exercises the feeling of desire, he will prosper. No one to be found. Sukum kata ini cerita mana? Lawan pada itu adalah misalnya. If man is to be happy, he should never be greedy or miserly. Apune, man harus tuji beru, beru misalnya. Then only he will be a happy man. Prima sekali. A more person lah. Mula pada itu mula pada itu cerita mana? And the key is to combine with the love. A person is to be the kind of love. It is love that brings them together. A whole world rests on love. A whole world rests on love. There's no world without love. So God is love. आपकी प्रेमस करो तो ये परमात्मा करो, सर्व उसे मन करो, प्रेमस करो तो गाली देते हैं। God, the embodiment of love, is present in everyone's own heart. दीने इतना स्पष्ट कर दिए, लोग का समस्त आवास उसे को भगवान करो। अंदर प्रेम सुधर का उत्तर, अन्य कुछ बात नहीं तो हो जाए। Therefore we pray for the benefit of everyone. तब प्रेम हम कुछ कुछ निगाहें इसको Thank you. 
the nine codes of conduct, namely meditation, daily family prayers, sending young members of our family for Sai spiritual education classes, attendance at bhajan at Sai centers, joining in service activities of the Sai organization, study of Sai literature, and putting into practice the sitting on desire program. Most of all, in fact, we will always speak softly and lovingly, and we will never talk ill of others. We also pledge Bhagavan to undertake any activity assigned to us and approved by our elders in the Thai organization. Pray accept our prana. Thank you. 